previously on Before the Blow Up. So tomorrow, I'm actually starting my first day as their new freelance TikTok video editor. <laughs> All of this just feels meant to be. This could be a big disappointment, but this could also be amazing. I just wanted to share that. Good morning. Hi. So it is Monday and I'm doing my skincare. It is the 100. It is the 100 gray rainy day in the Netherlands, but we are going to crush it. This week is going to be good. It's going to be amazing. We're going to work on our habits, habits that are going to bring us to success, all that good stuff. Let's go. This cream by It Cosmetics. Yeah, it'll get you together. It'll get you together. Wow, speaking, it will get you together is what I'm trying to say. If you're new to my channel, my name is Minerva. Welcome to the Before the Blow Up Vlogs, where I share my journey to life transformation with you and I bring you on the road to my glow up, basically. That's what we're doing. I'm still working on the hook, okay? That's what we're doing. Like I said, we are working on our habits this week and I'm super excited. If you're not new and you actually came back, thank you. You smart, you loyal, and I appreciate you. So for now, I'm just doing my skincare. I am drinking CMOS tea. Uh, I don't know if you know CMOS, but my husband makes it. It's really good for you. It's really, really healthy, has a million benefits, and I can't tell you like 10% of them, but it's really healthy but it's nasty and I see people putting it in their mouth like just with a spoon as it is no so I drink it in my tea or in smoothies so that's what we're doing today I will see you later just to kind of give you a brief of what we're getting into So why do we want to work on habits? Okay, you a little far. Let me bring you, let me bring you closer. Let's go. Why, why are we working on habits? Now, we have so many things that we want to achieve. Why start with habits? Now, I believe, I'm thinking, okay, that the reason why it's so hard for us to actually reach our goals and be consistent is because we're setting ourselves up for failure. And uh, I think, I hope that if you make sure that after your mindset is, you know, right, that your habits are actually gonna help you to be productive, to be happy and stuff like that, it's gonna be a lot easier to reach your goals. To me, that sounds like logic. So this week we are starting to establish habits and routines that are gonna set us up for success success and are gonna make it easier for us to achieve our goals now I'm saying starting because of course like with anything when it comes to life change this is not just something you can do in a week and then you have done so this week I'm gonna focus on establishing uh, morning routines and evening routines and the types of habits that I wanna uh, that I want to do for the coming months and then of course in weeks and months it's gonna take discipline Small habits that you do daily or weekly can actually propel you for long time success. Take this with the CMOS for instance. I don't know half of the stuff this thing does, but I drink it. I drink it almost every day. And I just know this is gonna benefit me next week, next month, next year, and in the next few years. It's like a small thing that I can do to my day. So if there's a tip that I can give along with the other things that I'm gonna share, Try to find like really small habits that take like nothing out of your day where you'd be just like, oh, that's super lazy. 
that's a super lazy hack and you feel good that you do it and you're just like, I'm investing in my future. I'm crushing it. Like for instance, people put sea moss in smoothies. Am I gonna make a smoothie every single day of my life? No, I'm not. Can I make some tea once or twice a day? Yeah, I can. What I really wanna show you is this. So I made a little guide for myself with my morning and my night routine and everything that I want to get done in it. So uh, for my morning routine, I wrote down that I want to stretch, I want to drink, I want to have quiet time, all that good stuff. And then I also wrote down what I want to do at night. So yeah, planning everything on my iPad for me just makes it a lot more fun right now because I can put I can put little thingies it's more visual I like it so I'm I'm definitely becoming an organized planning babe which I love for me yeah that's happening I also got to make a vision board which I love I want to show it it has nothing to do with this video I know maybe it does I don't know maybe it does but I I absolutely love it so let me just show it and then I'll be done mm -hmm. I'm so excited I, it's the first time making a vision board like this. <laughs> Can you see it? Do you not love? Do you not feel inspired and ready to glow up when you look at it? I love it. I love it so much. And I like this planner. Beginning of the year, I bought a digital planner. I'm gonna link it down below. I think it's from Good Monday's Paper. I'm gonna link it. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's my husband. What do ya? Okay, cajon do prata? Okay, so now it's time for me to take a break. I posted at 12.30. I wanted to go up at 12, but 12.30. The video's two hours. But I finally announced that I'm pregnant. And I'm so happy I got that out of the way. I'm so happy I finally announced it. So far, all the comments are positive. I have one from this older woman. Who's so another small habit that I really wanna incorporate into my day is eating more vegetables. And apparently, I live in the Netherlands, so we work with like the metric system. So I'ma talk in the metric system. Google, Google, okay? Uh, I'm gonna try to eat 200, 250 grams of vegetables every day. Boom, boom. And I, I've been doing that off and on, I think since last year, and it really does help. You feel a lot better go to the bathroom a lot better you have a lot more energy it's it's like really the way to go <laughs> i feel like people don't express enough how good vegetables are so this is the second habit that i wanted to share it's a small habit but you know it goes a long way okay y'all future minafra here in this vlog i was still very much in my head planning every shot and like overthinking everything in the coming vlogs i'll be more myself i'll be more natural but i really had to get used to this vlogging thing and i did not want to be boring so i was overthinking it anyway back to the vlog let's go we're gonna see my friend fabi let's go next stop spanish Oi, Regen, why yay yay? Okay, so I'm here with one of my favorite human beings in the world. Hello. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> this is Fabi, and she's eating tomato soup. And I have very strong feelings about tomato soup. And I love tomato soup. She loves tomato soup. So, out of respect for her, I will not repeat what I said about this. <laughs> I am having cake because I can. Good morning. It is actually not raining in the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Listen, when I tell you I'm happy, I'm so happy. I can't, I can't even explain it. Like what is life 
What was life like before rain started in the Netherlands? I'm so happy. Can you, do you see the sun? Look at the sun. Who do we think we are? I'm so excited. So since what since what actually oh, so since what uh, wow so since it was actually like not raining for the first time in forever, I decided to bring you guys along because I wanted to share another habit that I want to build up, and that's walk more. And it sounds super simple, but I want to walk more. I want to have like 5,000 steps every day, and then I want to make my way up to 10,000 steps because apparently. If you just start doing a simple thing like walking more, you improve so much things in your life. Not only do you lose weight, but you improve your mental health, like your physical health. Apparently, it lowers your blood sugar as well. I don't know, girl. I read a bunch of stuff and I was like, oh yeah, walking is where it's at. So it's finally, it's finally not raining. So I came for a walk. Shout out to my husband who told me like, baby, you got to come outside. The sun is shining and it actually is. Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna have enough time to do like 5,000 steps right now because I have to go to a event later on. I'm taking you with me. Moment of silence for the sun. I said a moment of silence, people. That man did not get the memo, but anyway. I'm going to an event. Uh, it's gonna be a fun event. It's gonna be with L'Oreal and my ex and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna be there for like a little while and then I'm going to church later. So I'm taking you with me, but let's enjoy the sun. It's what we were made for people. I was made for the sun. I was made for this weather, okay? <sighs> anyway, so the moral of the entire story is walk more, move your body more. It sets you up for success. And listen, I'm in such a good mood today. Oh, not this way. Yeah, I'm in such a good mood today. There is something amazing to this entire morning routine thing. I feel like I can tackle the world. I feel like life is on my side <laughs> when I have a morning routine. This morning routine thing, stretching in the morning, it, it's, it's the best decision I ever made. No cap. Anyway, I got stuff to do. First, let me get some steps in and I'll see you later. Okay, Ooh. I don't even know if you can see me or hear me with this wind. You can, you can see me, obviously. Anyway, um, I'm in Amsterdam now where the event is gonna be held. But something, I was just in a train and there was a young lady walking by the train tracks. And we think she was planning to end her life. I don't know, that thing just, it just took me, girl. I, I don't know. I'm so happy it didn't work because I was praying God save her life. And she didn't do it. Like there were two trains and both of them stopped. So she didn't do it. While we were riding away, I saw her and they were like, they were talking to her. They were waiting for the police to come. I just pray that this, this young woman that she finds purpose in life, you know what I mean? That she finds release and relief in this life from the things that are like tormenting her. I don't know. I just wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to share that. Cause I don't know, that just, she was probably younger than I was. Well, I am, I don't know. All I can say is like, if you're going through something, talk to people. That's what people always say, but like, I mean, I know it's not that simple, but also just know that there's so much more in life for you, even if it doesn't seem like that. I don't know, man. So we're going to the event now. I'm still on time because I was planning to be crazy early. But honestly, even if I wasn't on time, the fact that that girl's life was saved, that was enough for me. Anyway, let's get to the event. Top. Can y'all see it? Can you see that's so cute? Gifts to go with flowers. Yay. 
Oh, we are up so high. Just let me be. Mark my words, in a year, I'm gonna be living like this. that I never actually really showed you my morning routine or my nighttime routine and at a certain point I stopped showing you like habits all together this video is actually not about that it's this week started with me wanting to focus on my habits and really being a productive babe but it took a turn this video is a very good depiction of the challenges that I faced and I think other people face when they decide that they want to change their lives. This is the second week that I was determined to change my life. And at the end of this week, I will literally be shattered emotionally. This video is about persevering through challenges and what it looks like when you actually can't. Roll the clips. Good morning. So, today's film day. It's Saturday. We have a film day, my husband and I, for our production company. Uh, we're filming a podcast for a company in The Hague. And I decided to take you along with me so you kind of know what I do in real life. What are like the things that I do in real life. So I'm actually super excited. We already filmed one day of this podcast in November. So we're filming the second day now, which will be five episodes. Super excited. It's in Dutch. So I'll show you some snippets. If you speak Dutch, you'll understand a bit. If not, you just here for the vibes. Let me show you a bit of the setup. Because the cameraman and I just set up, or at least the cameraman set up. And I helped the cameraman. So, let me show you a bit. Sneak peek, sneak peek. Max, heb je zin om in de vlog te komen waarvan ik niet weet wanneer het uitkomt? Ja. This is Max, the cameraman, the maestro, the guru himself. <laughs> Say hi to the people. Hey people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna annoy him. Annoy him. Okay. Je hebt een bus gemist? Ja. Wat betekent dat? 15 minuten later. Okay. Okay, is goed mees. Thank you so much. No problem. Is goed dat zo. Is goed dat zo. Zo. Okay. So as you can see, we are up and running. I'm on my way running to the McDonald's for breakfast, okay? Don't judge me. With our office, the closest thing, like walking distance, is a McDonald's. You do not want to know how often I've had McDonald's breakfast. I don't care to tell you, because then you will judge me. And I won't blame you. But today, I'm doing a McDonald's breakfast run, getting everybody some food, and getting myself some food. Let's do it. Number two, yes, um, we have Shelly in the building. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Ja, ik heb niet weer gewoon. Oh nee. Die video's van die Kavia's. Ja, Kavia's. Kavia's laat je zijn. Ik laat het zo horen. Maar ik, nee, de laatste tijd heb ik het eigenlijk niet meer gedaan. Maar soms als ik niet in slaap kan komen of niet rustig, dan ik kan nooit rustig mijn hoofd worden, toch? Ja, ik blijf het. Oké. Okay. Hey girl, it's me. De meeste van jullie weten wie ik ben. Zo so niet. Ik ben... Trust me, you don't want to miss this girl. So tune in. En vergeet me niet te volgen op al mijn socials. Coco en girls. See you, bitch. Dat was een meisje! Sorry? Hey, oh hey God, one taker! What's up, it's your girl, L.A. Santana. It's your boy, cool as all day. Vandaag waren we bij Life Hacks. Wat moet ik zeggen? Oké. It's a wrap. Let me go behind the pretty light. It's a wrap. We're done. I'm so tired. But the day was actually really good. Max is tired, but I'm gonna ask him what do you think what did you think of the day? It was an extremely productive day. It was a fun day, had a lot of good stories. But I'm so tired now. Yeah, me too. Even though I just sat, I only sat down. Like, I didn't have to do much. I had to record one podcast, which was at the beginning of the day. No, but you did a lot. Thank you so much. Max. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Thank you. He's a whiz. Uh, okay. So I just wanted to say we're done, just so you guys have the full picture. But I'm so tired. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm tired. I'll talk to you later. I'm still talking to you. I don't know why, because I already said I'm tired, but I just feel like this this is the quality content you signed up for. I just feel it in my bones. Okay, bye. Hi. Today's Monday, and I'm closing off the vlog from bed. Okay, so if you watched up till now thank you so much i hope you enjoyed coming along with me in this busy week while also trying to establish habits and routines i was very emotional this week and it could be because of uh, my period but it could also be like i feel like i'm in a waiting stage with a lot of things uh i haven't even updated you on the gig so if you watched my last vlog you'll have noticed that i had a um i had like a trial day uh, as we speak tomorrow it's gonna be two weeks ago that i went after that day i think i haven't had contact with them so uh the lady sent me an email asking me if i'm feeling better i replied to that and i haven't had a response since then I assume you can hear that. But I assume you can hear that, but I'm not gonna stop talking. Is that okay? Is it annoying? I don't know. Anyway, so sit tomorrow, it'll be two weeks ago that I went, and the day after that is the last time I sent uh, that I ever received response from that them, and it's gonna be like two weeks. So just that silence is leaving so much room for doubt and worry and that's like the beginning of the journey that i'm on like let's fight against doubt let's fight against worry and fear so it's been such like a battle and going back and forth to not allow the worry and the anxiety to get the best of me so that's been kind of taking a lot of energy yeah and then i didn't have that much energy to begin with because of my period it's, it's just a lot i don't want to bring bad vibes but i do want to share right so i'm not sure if anybody it's, it's like yeah i want to hear about the, the struggles i don't know this is where we're at once i have an update about that i will let you know because i was so sure that this gig was for me I want to say I'm still sure right now I'm just holding on to my faith while I'm learning to manage my emotions so that's a totally different turn of this week I didn't I honestly honestly I didn't see this week coming I didn't see it coming that this week would kind of end like that hello so it's a lot of time later and I don't know where I last left you guys with an update on the 
Cupcake. I received the email back. I decided to go a different direction. And I just wanted to fill you guys in. The whole situation to me kind of sucks. Honestly. I can't lie, I'm a little bit crushed. Not even gonna hold you. I think the part that sucks the most is not even I wanted it and it didn't happen. I think the part that sucks the most is that it just felt so right. And like it was really for me. I think that's the part that sucks the most. That it felt like it was for me. That I put my faith towards it. And that it just felt so disappointing. I think though the hardest part was like waiting for two weeks. Sending emails, not hearing anything back. Feeling like I was just hitting a wall. And then the thing you fear and you're trying to. Tell yourself, like, no, that's not going to happen. It's the thing that ends up happening. I think the thing that sucks the most is the reasons that they give you why they decided to go a different direction are things that were never an issue before. So it kind of feels like all signs pointed to yes. All signs were like, oh yeah, this is what you're looking for, so let's go. It's a good match. And then it's silence for two weeks, and then it's like, no, we decided to go for this and this and this and this. And it's like, I didn't know that this was a thing. Because had I known that you guys were looking for this, I probably would not have applied, or I probably, yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Because without even realizing it, this took like a lot of my energy for like more than a month. For longer than a month. And my entire focus started to shift towards that. And If that's not for me, I need to learn to close that door and then... <sighs> yeah. It sucks. I'm going to have to bounce back. I've been taking some time, by the way. I didn't hear this today. I've been taking some time. But I wanted to update you. 2023 is still the year that we change our lives. It's just some setbacks along the way. It sucks because I feel like in the exact same place I was last year, the year before that, and the year before that, that kind of, that place that motivated me to stop trying, that emotional space, that's where I feel I am right now. So yeah, that is the, that is the update from me, that's the update from me, I have no idea where this is going to be, in what type of vlog, I don't know, I just know I have to update you, <laughs> and uh, yeah. All I know is I have to update you and let's see where we go from here. I'm going to take some time. I don't know how much. And then I will probably bounce back. For now, it just is what it is. 
Thank you so much for watching. This is a sucky way to end this anything. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And uh, have a wonderful day.